Alexis Kaslick walks to the Martin County Sheriff's Office to file a report against Positively Paradise and its owner, Nikki Kamerlengo. She is the latest to do so. I feel like she should be held accountable for all of these deaths and she shouldn't be allowed to run her facility anymore. We sat down with Alexis minutes earlier to hear her story. She is now the sixth we've reported on who say they've had horrific experiences with the dog training facility. All but Alexis say their dogs died in Camerlengo's care. I am beyond grateful. Um, it could have obviously went way worse. Alexis says in 2018 she left her golden doodle puppy Oakley with Positively Paradise for a week of boarding when she realized her dog seemed extremely sick and had trouble breathing. I just I knew from when I picked her up something was wrong so I had brought her into the vet and she ended up having a partially collapsed trachea. Oakley survived but still isn't back to normal. She can't wear a collar anymore. She can only wear harnesses. Like a few others, Alexa didn't keep a copy of the vet records and didn't think to file a police report at the time. So we may never know what actually happened. Obviously, this was before all these stories came out. So I was just like, oh, maybe like, I don't know. I don't know. And when I had reached out to Nikki, she was very, um, she got very defensive and I didn't do anything wrong. We tried to reach Camerlengo to address these new allegations, but she still hasn't returned my calls. Her brother John Camerlengo did talk to us and again told us the dogs that died had pre-existing conditions, referring specifically to this retriever that died in 2022. You're investigating the dog murder. Nikki's been training dogs for 24 years. She's got over 1,500 people that she's dealt with. Never a dog until a couple years ago. Um. So I'm going to push back a little so bit because guys. we did have the necropsy results, which showed that the dogs didn't have pre-existing conditions. We showed him that report and also asked him to address the multiple allegations of dogs dying in the facility's care, going as far back as 2014. That's how many? 2014, 2018, 2018, 2022, 2023, 2024. That's six dogs. How do you explain that? I think it's funny that when this dog died, all the people came out the woodwork saying, oh, I had a dog die. Chief Deputy John Budensieg doesn't think it's funny, nor a coincidence. Well, there's nothing funny about this. It's unheard of. Absolutely not a coincidence. We don't get this type of, uh, these type of incidents back to back over the course of several years. Again, a lot of these witnesses are now coming out. Victims are coming out and saying, hey, this happened to us also. We know of three in the last year and a half, and this is not normal. He's taken a look at the necropsy from one of the two dogs Deputy sent to the University of Florida for examination, but needs some clarification before moving forward. And there are some concerns that they have with the necropsy, but they want a second opinion. So they're now currently working with the University of Texas and some other organizations. But in the interim, be extremely careful where you take your pet. Do not take it to Positively Paradise, period. Alexis just hopes his warning hits home. She should have gotten in trouble from the first death, let alone, what, five or six now? It's just, it's crazy. And it's gonna keep happening if something doesn't, doesn't happen.